Another collaboration coming out of Oceanside, California with Black Plague Brewing and Tony Hawk. This is Birdhouse IBA, IB, IB, IBA, 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 IBA. We're going to do this one again. Boop. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. We have another collaboration coming out of Oceanside, California. We have Black Plague Brewing and Tony Hawk with Birdhouse IPA. This is 15 IBUs with 6.5% alcohol. This is brewed with Simcoe, Amarillo hops, also resinous pine, aromas of orange, citrus, grapefruit, and also citra and centennial used in the dry hop. Tapping Out Show. We're actually going to do another collaboration beer. This is from Black Plague and Tony Hawk. This is the one of four? Yes. Yeah. One of so four. this one's an IPA. They're out of Oceanside, California, which is kind of cool because technically Tony Hawk's from the Carlsbad area. I kind of grew up in that area. I mean, he's not just a local legend. I mean, this is Tony Hawk. I had this skateboard, for God's sakes. I mean, yeah. I remember the <laughs> video game. I mean, if you, if you don't remember him skating, everyone at least played the video game. Most people know who he is. At least, you know, depending on when you, what year you were born. Yeah, if you, if you were around since the 1980s, you've heard of Tony Hawk. Um, I'm kind of excited. I wish I could find one of the other ones, because I know that they had one other IPA, right? And then... Well, they have a hazy, they have a light beer, and then they have a Mexican-style lager. So, and just reading what's in here, it's got Simcoe, it's got Amarillo, it's got uh, grapefruit and citrus. It's got a pine so, note. And pine. So usually all the recipes of something that we would like in an IPA. So normally, uh, if it's got all those uh, elements, that we're going to like it. So pretty good chance, I would say. Well, you can smell the pine off the bat. You can smell actually the citrus too. Mm. Beautiful color. I mean, beautiful color. Nice, nice little head on it. It definitely smells like an Oceanside beer. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah, it is. Very light, insanely drinkable, and it has a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. Well, it's not weird. very bitter either. No, but that's what I was saying. For something that's this light to, to drink, it's got a, a lot of flavor, and it has a bunch on the back. The back end's very palatable. Well, the reason why a lot of people don't like IPAs is the bitterness in the end or it's too hoppy. This mm -hmm. doesn't have either one of those. I can handle that, but I can see why you and some other people don't like it. Um, but it doesn't have that bitterness. It really just has all the positives uh, of, you know, you'd normally go for, but it doesn't have the bitterness. It's not overly uh, piney. It's not overly hoppy. Very good beer. Well, you're the IPA connoisseur, so Rating one to five, five being the best. Hmm. I would say four and a half. I was going to say four out of five. So we can meet in the middle and go 4.25 out of five. How yeah. about that? Yeah, it's a really good beer. I it mean, is a really good beer. Just so Shout many out to IPAs. North County, San Diego. Yeah, there's just so <laughs> many IPAs out there. Um, but I, I, yeah. I would say personally, I give this a four and a half, though. I mean, that's what I would rate it. Um, it's a really good beer. Well, I, I would is. suggest it. No, I would too. You know what? And we're going to finish them out. So you guys have a good night. Cheers. Cheers.